Alright, for the fucking third time and shit. Here we go. <laughs> for the fucking third time. Um. Yep. Just waiting on y'all to come on and. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Alright, let's try this again. And we're back. Yeah. I'm not on top, am I? No. <laughs> you are not. You're so fucking and funny. I, I guess it's, it's switched for everybody because they, I saw them in the comments. Like, how dare you get on top? Yeah. Are well, we I'm, I'm, well, I'm looking oh. at what they're looking at. So, I don't... Who says smell my dick? Who the fuck? Girl. A lame ass. What kind of shit? Delete, bitch? Oh, thank you, Believe in Athena. So sweet. <laughs> Thanks, babe. No, I think we're good. I think we're... Hold on, let me... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. BET Awards, we ain't doing it. People said that uh, Bex Style reminds them of 2 chains. I like two chains. I you do like two chains. I you just don't she think she. I, yeah, like UGK and Bum B. Like I don't know. I just don't see two chains for her. Does Bum B make his own kind of sounds? Uh, yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. But the the things that they're talking about, right? The things that she talks about, the things that UGK and Bum B talk about, and maybe it's because they're both from Houston. Um, mm -hmm. She also, because she's young. Meg is young. Meg's only like twenty three. Yeah. So some yeah. of the shit that she's talking about is before her time. You know what Correct. I'm saying? So yeah. her mom either put her on game or mm -hmm. she's listening to that music coming up and Correct. she got put up on game, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Um, We're going to talk about that, guys. Yeah, because I was like, bitch, I don't think anybody asked you. I don't even, I can see anybody, but let's just talk about it now. Let's so, literally nobody said that Lori was like and engaged, not pregnant, but engaged. To Diddy. To Diddy. I, did you see that on any of the big blogs? No. No. I didn't see it on the shave room, uh neighborhood talk, uh Jasmine Brand, Baller Alert. I see it on anyone. So bitch, what are you talking about? You just want attention. That's what you want, girl. Cause nobody 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 acts none it. At all. It just at all. And and come on now. Diddy did not marry any of the two long term women that he was with for all of those all those years. So he's gonna be engaged to Lori Harvey. So I mean for him and um Cassie were engaged, right? I don't know that they were. I just remember him doing an interview telling people or I don't know if it was Ellen or somebody, but he basically said that she knows that I don't I don't wanna get married. Like he said that and that was like some years ago. So bitch, I would have left that nigga so fucking fast. Like, bitch, I know you ain't talking to me. Ho, you took you took all my twenties, ho. You took all my fucking twenties. Yeah. Anyways, uh yeah. If you guys yeah. hadn't got the tea on the Diddy uh Cassie, make sure that you go and I uh, listen to our podcast. Shh, don't tell nobody. Yes. On Spotify, on Apple I what Apple Podcast. Apple podcast. I and mm -hmm, girl, I hot radio. Yeah, bitch. So <laughs> yeah, it's Spreaker. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, did he? But my thing is, it, it could happen because niggas, you know, get engaged to shit. Like niggas have girlfriends for forever, and then meet somebody who they just like want to be with for, for forever, yeah. and then sure. marry them. So it happens. I just don't think it's going to happen. For, but then again, you know, she is with the Mafia family. So, you know, did he monetize? You know what I'm saying? So they, they're they saying that she's a pass around like her mom. We we are well aware of that. And her mom was with the clap back, too. Now, I wonder, is her dad the cousin? I wonder. I think that we're all wondering who, so like, which would, one of the, be her, the cousins or, like, which one is which? That was she married dad both. Dad or uncle brother? Which one? Uncle brother. I, I don't know if it was the brother. <laughs> Your uncle brother. Um. Well, yeah, they're saying that the um. What's her fucking name, Lori? Um, that the BT Wars are uh, the pre-show was a hot mess. 
I guess that was recorded. Last year, was it recorded? Was the pre show recorded last year? No, I thought it was live. I thought it was like live last year. Uh, I mean, well, maybe something guess, happened uh, to where they needed to pre record it. Uh, I don't watch it. I know my homeboy is like the DJ for it out there. Shout out to DJ uh, Era. Um, hey. But yeah, top. Hot, hot mess. That's why they call it the EBT Awards. When is the last time Beyonce and Jay-Z showed up? And I, they're not going to be there this year, for sure. Uh, I don't... Uh, maybe 2010. <laughs> maybe 2010. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that that Meg Thee Stallion brought it? Good. Yeah, she, Meg is... She always does, though. We like, love Meg. Meg is... She she's is, going on tour, and I'm yeah. so excited because I'm going to be at the next This is the last time they were there was 2016. 2016? Really? Maybe I didn't watch it. I mean... On the Lemonade Era. I don't think it was... Wait. That was BT Awards? I know it was for sure in T, um, MTV Awards when Rihanna got like the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award. Yeah. I'm and sure. Beyonce took the show. Yeah, she disrespectful, yo. She, like, she is like, bitch, I don't give a fuck about your goddamn award, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> um, that shit was crazy. And she did perform with Kendrick Lamar. Oh, she was performing at, Ken okay, she, she performed with Kendrick Lamar at the BC Awards. Gotcha. Not the okay. MTV Awards. Oh, then mm. Beyonce opened up the show and left. That sounds about right. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, that one. Yeah. I mean, I think I did. There's too much fuckery going on now. I'm not watching it. It's, um, they were mad at she Well, she, be, she, be, she had been winning awards, like, for years, you know? Yeah. And everybody was accepting them on her behalf. Like, I honestly right. didn't think she was going to ever show up again. Didn't she um, win an award, like... To maybe 2017 and Hallie and what's that Chloe, other Chloe, yeah. Chloe. They accepted it for her or something like that, right? I think so. Mm. Um, so, I mean, we're just going to go. So, Tory Lanez, we talked about on the podcast how he basically was, you know, fighting against colorism and the music industry. Yes. And we were like, go ahead, yeah, good for him. Uh -huh. What happened? Come, come to find out, um, the girl who, the, the chocolate chick was like, what he said happened didn't even happen. So basically, he was doing it for clout. So, um, let me go back. Um, so the dark skinned girl and the light skinned girl who she got switched out for uh -huh. came out and was like, what he's talking about happened didn't even happen and people were saying well like how is it that just right then when she was getting switched out was somebody recording uh, like you know what I'm saying and they were saying that he wasn't even vouching for any of the girls really and that he was just doing it for clout so I don't know it's the and that that makes you look like an ass Right, mm -hmm. oh, so many different levels because we we were capping for you, right? You made headlines. People were like, "Yeah, they even forgave you for that stupid shit that you said about swapping." Who did you think he wanted to swap out? The, he wanted to swap out um, Aisha Curry for the twerking white girl that okay. was on the, the shade room. See what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so somebody said he's doing that because he's going on tour with Chris. Is maybe he? for him, maybe for himself, but Chris doesn't need that type of, you know what I'm saying? At all. He's Chris At all. But yeah. that shit was, that shit is ridiculous. That shit is ridiculous. Oh, he is Canadian, huh? I forgot about that. Yeah, he's Canadian. Um, that's why he was so upset with Aubrey because he felt like Aubrey. If I say this all the time, if I was Aubrey, anybody who came out of Canada, I except Justin Bieber. Uh -huh. But even with Justin Bieber, like, I would have gotten them under my um, record label. Huh. And we're all, and we're a family. So everybody's collabing with everybody. We have so many people that's from Canada. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's really yeah, making sense. a lot of people from Canada. Bitch, my pockets, you, t girl. But, you know, he's stupid. Anyways, um, <laughs> so let's talk about, you know what that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to jail? So, uh, Cardi B. Oh, I 
Cardi B has been on the 21st, which was this past Friday. Um, Cardi B has been indicted by the grand jury um, for like, I want to say 14 felonies and like 14 felonies or some shit. Um, and then she got on stage last night and was saying that she wasn't going. Everyone was saying that she was going to jail. She got on stage last night and said that she's not going to jail because her lawyer is a Jew and he's going to chew. He going to chew the something. I said, wait, wait a minute, bitch. Um, <laughs> she's like, her lawyer's a Jew and he's going to chew the charges or some shit like that. Oh, oh 16 counts of. Oh, shit. Y'all can correct me in the in the comments. But yeah, she's basically saying that she's not going to jail. Like, so we're, we've been waiting on her husband to go to jail. For what? Oh, my God. We've been waiting on Remy to go to jail. For what? We just want to know what's going to happen. Because I'm sure it's going to happen when nobody cares. Like, I'm sure about it. So... Yeah. She, made, she made a long post um, she was pissed that TMZ posted and said it she's saying that they're lying about the charges yes she, but then she deleted it she did but we caught it okay, she said Harvey you wrinkle fake tan bitch you don't profit on talking about white celebrities, so you go on. I'm sorry, you go out your way to report on to report shit on people in the urban culture, and even make shit up. It's crazy how two months ago my publicist had to go out her way to prove you guys that I had surgery. She meant to prove too, uh, because you insisted that I was pregnant and was going to report it. It because a reliable source claimed to tell you. I never did jail time. I don't have no criminal record, but they want to drag this case because they want fame. I don't think they need her for the fame. Um, and they want press. Waste people tax money on bullshit case. Don't ever look like that, Danny. Ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. My head is starting to hurt because I'm like, you're saying it the way that she wrote it. But yes. keep going. A misdemeanor case. I don't understand how I've been to court six times for a misdemeanor, a fucking misdemeanor, and now you try to upgrade it to, not upgrade it, but upgrade ED, uh, to a felony E, the lowest of the low, because I refuse to agree to your terms. The prosecutors are in meetings talking about she hangs with gang members, but you don't talk about my clean ass record. Talk about all the private donations I gave that are in my bank statements the charity events I perform or how I got the keys for Marlboro, New York, or I'm sorry, Brooklyn, that my gang member friends arranged to give out coats, something you wait, white motherfuckers wait, don't do wait, for the community. Wait, 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 wait. You are gang affiliated, period. You've been very vocal about that. So yes, they're talking about that. You put it out, they're talking about it. Okay. Nobody gives a fuck about your charity work. People do charity work all the time. All the time. It means nothing. It doesn't stop the fact that you decided to have other people attack these girls for fucking with your niggas, supposedly. Because we don't even know if people really fucking with you. Like, we don't know. I mean, if you do know, you still took this nigga back. And then you went to DR to get your surgery. Fake ass. And it's like, like what? You, uh, underscore genie. Exactly. She, they said, if they're private, how is he supposed to talk about it? And she said she didn't give those coats. Oh, she didn't give those coats away. And I was away. What happened? Who, who got the coat? Who got the coat? <laughs> but like, go ahead though. Keep, 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 you white motherfuckers don't do for the community. You don't do shit to better the community, but harass and oppress. She's so they said, the, the, they said that the guy who owns the store is the one who technically gave out the coats, not her. So she didn't, she, maybe she didn't pay for the coats. He just partnered with her, you know, to make sure. You know, for her face to bring people out. Yeah. Correct. I'm just just read that whole statement. I'm just like I didn't read it. That was the first time I heard everything. All I heard was you tan motherfucker talking about Harvey. But now that he that she said that, I'm sure he going 
Harvey? He's gonna, yeah, because he's gonna say, oh, I upgraded to a felony E. <laughs> <laughs> so let me provide the paperwork. Upgraded. Upgraded to a felony. And you know what? Honestly, we, we started to think that TMZ was really on their payroll. Payroll, like, yeah. The other mother, the Perilsbury Doughboy is. Um, but... Now, because they're reporting things that you don't like, they're like, that's what happens. She gets mad because people report things that she doesn't like. Can't stand and it. And she gets hot. And she wouldn't call somebody a pale face and talk about people being oppressed. Then she attacks black bloggers. That's just doing her job. Angie doesn't put the stories out. Yes. Angie is the owner. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of stories that go in and out don't go through her. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you know, people, like it's the same thing with the Jasmine brand. When you have other businesses to worry about and other shit going on, you can't sit there and single handedly anymore go through every mm -hmm. single story that your writers uh -huh. are going to put out. You know what I'm saying? Now, and right. maybe sometimes you don't even know that something might be off until after the fact. But at the end of the day, you're in celebrity news. So whether you get along with the blog or don't get along with the blog, Correct. don't want them to post you. It's my freedom of speech, so I can say what I want. To Period. Say at the end of the but day. see, then celebrities have just come—not celebrities, but bloggers have come, um, like together and just said they're not going to post about her. And because they're not posting about her, yeah, she's becoming irrelevant. Like the only pe the only people that post about her is Baller Alert and Jasmine Brand. But Jasmine Brand gets dragged so bad for mm -hmm. posting about her. Yeah, like you should see that. And if you go into the comments, <laughs> anytime they post about her, like she got, I guess, the songwriters, the ASCAP uh -huh. songwriters award. Yes. She got the most yes. award. Everyone already said, like, I think to myself, and I say, self, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought she didn't write her stuff. So, my other, you know, partner. Says that she never said that she didn't write her shit. However, she did. <laughs> so he said, swore she did say that. He, he swore she said she don't give a fuck about being lyrical. She don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Um, and she said that she writes some of her stuff. But when you are asked by an actual, actual, actually somebody who didn't say shit, let's get a beat, let's sit in the studio, and let's write. And you get crickets. Like, you don't write your own shit. You can't do shit without your writers, period. So, yeah, I just, um, this is... Okay, see, everybody in the comments is saying that she did say it, because I, I could have swore she did. They said they feel like Jasmine Brand is getting shadow banned, the views and comments are getting low. That could be possible. Um, yeah. Now she's saying she wrote because Meg is getting respect. Meg is that chick. That's why she gets fucking respect. She's no Meg the Stallion. Let's just. Period. Honey, let me tell you something. Meg is so. She looks so fucking soft, man. <laughs> like, her body looks so soft. Like, man. Like, you, you're not even playing fair. You're not playing fair at all. Um. Did you. Okay, so. Atlanta had a birthday bash. I'm done. It's done. I'm not about to play with them. Atlanta had a um, birthday bash, which is like Summer yes. Jam in New York. Yes. Um, and I guess one ride, Risha, you know, she announced that she was pregnant and mm -hmm. she decided that uh, she was going to twerk on stage and do the splits and all of that. And uh, well, she was pregnant? Uh, these uh, little ratchet girls, like, you don't. I just. It's, it's a lot. Um, but, but yeah. So, like, was. Was the baby like bouncing on the on the I'm stage sure. too? Like, cause I'm pretty sure you know when you do a split on the stage, you gotta make that shit pop. So was her belly like popping too? Well, she's having a little girl, y'all. She is. She is. She's having a little girl. Oh wow! Girl. Cause she already has a son, right? Uh huh. Y'all ready for a a a a Arisha Junior? Nobody, 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 nobody. I hope that I hope that she on her baby rag. Get. We're not doing this, Danny. We're not doing this. All right. Why? What is wrong with you? Why? Y'all, somebody come get Danny. This girl said, 
call her baby Rag. Now we have no choice. She's naming her Summer. Damn, so she was third trimester. She she said, listen, if Beyonce can perform all nine months in heels, bitch, I can drop it like it's hot. Do the spoon. But Beyonce was a Beyonce was a baby. No, at a certain point she was wearing heels, but she wasn't moving all around like that. So Beyonce she would have did the cry baby on stage. Bitch, bitch I would have lost my can, mind. She couldn't wait to say that fucking line, bitch. You know what? <laughs> Danny is out of control. Um, Meg will take a shot at Cardi in her freestyle. Put down your phone and pick up a pen. The bar getting lower and lower. Which it is. It is. It is. It is. It's absolutely. One thing I would like for just anybody at this point, right? Let's just just say that it is about Cardi. Like all that shit. If it's about her, bitch, say it's yeah. about her. She can't yeah. come for you. You know what I'm saying? She can try, but ultimately we know that she would. You would trump her. Period. Automatically, you know what I'm Period. saying? Like I don't, I don't dancing, looks, I body. hate when people don't own that shit. Like, don't say, "Oh, it's not about her," or "This is not that." It's not that. And then a year later, you talking about, "Yeah, the last six songs was about this bit." Like, own that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Did Cardi Shay King delete it? I. It was it was her, the minions. It was the minions because what happened is Cardi B went um, live on her page and said that there's a blog page that um, follows people that hates her. Which he was following me. He was following other people. Who, you know. So, but he was like posting about like pop, he was posting positivity about her. He does. Yeah, we have to give him that. He, he yeah, posts but both she, Nikki and he posts Cardi and correct. he posts a lot more positive things about Cardi than he does negative. So, correct. I mean, he just posts what's, whatever's in the news. Yeah, if he she's doesn't, he song, doesn't choose like, now. I think he's more of a bar, but he does not. He does not always post bad stuff about Cardi. Correct. But Cardi saw through it, and she basically was like. <laughs> He's still following people who don't like me. He's still doing this. He's still doing that. So this page really isn't for me because he's supposed. The reason why me and Cardi even got into it was because of his page. It was. It Not was because of his page. She saw it. She saw it. So she sees the shit. That I, I, and that's how I like when I post on certain blogs, I just going to see it. So I just post it. I post funny shit all the time. But it's like, so, she's so st- and I've been saying this to y'all from day one like when she came out with Bodak Yellow and we were doing our show, I said that shit from jump. She is that? way too sensitive to be in yeah. the industry. Like Correct. you don't have to respond to every little single thing. Like God, she was responding to people that has like two. I'm sorry, commenting on people's pages that have like 200 followers that was talking about her. Like it is not that deep, sis. Yeah, she got too much shit going on, and I feel like if she would have liked her better, right? If she would have, if she would have let shit slide, but she she wears everything on her sleeve, and it's just like, yeah, it's you you can ask questions. Yes, you can. There's like a it should be a question and uh, yeah, there's a there's a box, I'm gonna, there's box down there. I'm gonna go through that. Um, and she responds to every little single thing. And it's like, girl, yeah. it makes you look weak. It makes you look uneducated, especially because of the way that you respond. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. She she's she needs to think about her own mental health. You know what I'm saying? Especially after having a kid. Some people go through postpartum and may not really realize they go through postpartum. So mm-hmm. it's like. Mm-hmm. For, for your own <laughs> mental health like leave the bullshit alone like you don't have to respond to that. so what if people don't like you so that means that she probably was really pressed and stressed over anybody in the high school who yeah. didn't like her you know what I'm yep. saying like she might still be reaching out to them this day trying to figure some shit out like this big love listen okay <laughs> we get over it get over yeah. it um yeah, you guys, I'm going to go through the, the comments uh, or the questions at 
the end of the show. Well, the end of this live, because we're going to go to Danny's page in a little bit. Yeah. But there's a question box below. If you have questions, ask. We'll pull it up. Um, let's she says we don't up. get the postpartum bill out. <laughs> I was just saying, y'all. Just I don't know if she did or not. I was but, just saying, there's a lot. Like, she did, you know. Where's her people? Right? That's what you get for hiring. She doesn't have any. Somebody off the Th this is the thing. We have to stop making excuses for her. She's a grown-ass woman, and she's responsible for a whole-ass human being. We are not making responsible... We're not making excuses for you anymore because you need to be responsible for your fucking actions. Period. Like, you attack these girls after you had your baby. And it's probably why you... The reason why you probably didn't even fight, which you can't, um, is because you just had your kid. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you was going to the club looking for this nigga. Yeah, and see, like, when you actually have a baby girl, you pass blood clots and shit sometimes. So Bitch, ain't nobody like that. Like that grandma this had bitch. up Lord, and I've been trying to fight. Like, girl, sis, sis. This one right here, y'all. Y'all pray, pray for this one right here. Because this one right here. This, <laughs> this girl. But yeah, so let's change the subject because I'm tired of speaking about <laughs> Um Let's talk about there's so much. Okay. So I want to talk about this Floyd Mayweather versus T.I. So Floyd Mayweather's DJ was on live getting his haircut, right? Uh-huh. And she, I mean, she, she, and he basically said that he loved Tiny, like that was his first light skin crush. And people were in the comments like disrespecting Tiny because everyone thinks that she looks like a little pit bull um, with blue eyes. Everyone says that. I'm not saying that that's how I feel because they can, uh, they live in Atlanta and so do I. I have time. <laughs> um, but I'm saying that's what people are saying in the comments and things like that. People always disrespect Tiny. Um, all the time. And all the time. So then, don't hurt nobody. You know? And no, she bothers no one. Nobody. And they still attack her. But so then what happened is, I guess he went out to the club and T.I.'s homies uh -huh. attacked him. Yeah. That, that, according to him. So my first question is, why does Floyd Mayweather need a DJ? <laughs> you know, he has his strip club. Okay. 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 Because okay. I was just okay. wondering, like, I think you're not an artist. Around and it's, it's the old boy just pull out the boom box and just like play music anytime he like enters the. I don't know. Yeah, that was my my thought. But yeah, so and he he did a whole like full Instagram story saying like, oh, Ti jumped me, y'all niggas are straight bitches, and he was basically just you know saying that Ti just couldn't handle him being in front of I mean, but this is like, Tia has to understand that his wife is, she's an icon, and she is, like, a lot of guys wanted her. They're just that you have her. You know what I'm saying? Even, and you, they're, they're mad that you mistreat her. Not saying that Floyd could do better, you could probably put her in a better, like, you know, money-wise standpoint, because he has a lot more money than you, but as far as y'all treat, y'all both treat women like trash, they so. Do. They do. And he, he says that there were six dudes that jumped And they him. just scratched him up. They didn't even, like, you know, black his eye or yeah. swallow his face. They just scratched him up. But he says that, uh, quote, niggas jumped the wrong ones tonight. I'm on your bumper, bitch-ass nigga. And then he tied T.I. <laughs> I'm on your bumper, bitch-ass nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um... um Still to today, like I, T.I. would get his ass whooped by Floyd. We all know that. And I'm pretty sure T.I. knows that too. I'm pretty so, sure. So, it's kind of like, I think you should tread lightly because it's a lot. Um, but is it, so what's this rumor about his daughter possibly being pregnant by NBA young boy? Yeah. You that's a fucking that's animated bitch. Saying. This bitch is so animated. Did you? Did you fall out of the goddamn chair? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what happened? You're so funny. So yeah, they're saying, you know, they broke up, but they, they are, reports are saying that she's pregnant by NBA Youngboy. And he just had a baby. Yes, he was okay. supposedly born with it because his mother had it. Oh. Yeah. Damn. So, I mean, because I asked, so when his 
I don't even know how many kids he has, but the girl who he was beating up in the hotel room, right? Or That's the hotel. The girl he gave her. Yes, because he was born with it. But this is what they were telling me in the comments. So she had the kid, and I was saying, wait, is this the girl? Because I don't know which girl it is, but I was like, is this the girl that he gave herpes to? Um, and she confirmed it on live or some shit. And they were like, I'm his mom had it, and she gave it to him. But why is that anybody's business? Like, who, who voluntarily is like, he, let's go on live, he, right? I mean, he, he did put that shit in the song. He did put that shit yeah. in the whole song. I just don't know who voluntarily tells that shit to anybody that they're not sleeping with, right? We ain't sleeping with them, right? Bitch. So we shouldn't have even known that. And so she she knew, we, she knew that everybody knew that she was fucking with him. And yeah. she felt the need to go on and like, yeah, I got it too. And now, baby... <laughs> but my thing is everybody like, knows. Like, this how could you, why are you fucking with a nigga who just put him right here as herpes? So if, if you're like Floyd Mayweather's daughter, like, so then know. Girl, you, we know that you want to use no condom kind of or you got it too. Uh -oh. Y'all love spreading the herpes. Honestly, I feel like now these days, HIV, STDs, they don't scare motherfuckers no more. They don't. It don't it, they do it's not. The only thing that kills people is cancer. Right. They feel like yep. it's common now. They're like, fuck it. I'll just take a few cocktails. You know? Like, no. Like, I don't know like cocktails that's going yeah. to make me itch, burn, scratch. <laughs> no. Um, he has four kids already and barely doing for them. Huh. Um. Okay, I'm trying to think if we should hit one more. Um, let's talk about this Jeezy cell phone. Yeah, so, so what happened? He partnered with some guy named Freddie Figures, and yeah, Figure Wireless. He's a black owned. Yeah, okay. So yeah. he partnered with him, and he's got his own cell phone coming out. It's called like the F three or something, and it's gonna be five G. Um, nice. It's supposed to be in big competition with uh, Apple and Google because you know Google has the Android. Mm -hmm. And um, he like it includes coming with like the wireless buds and all of that. And so basically, they've said they both decided to do it because they came from a place to where they used to not be able to even afford to pay their cell phone bills. Yeah, so I think maybe it might be a little metro ish, a little bit. But I don't give if, if, if I have really good service every fucking way. I don't right. give a god. But I mean, like price point wise, right? Because why That's come good. out with a cell phone and you trying to charge out the ass for the service? Yeah. So I yeah. feel like it's supposed to be more um, money friendly. For but is it contract based though? Is it contract based? I don't know. That because if it's contract based and you have to be in that bitch for four years, that's a college degree, ho. I'm not. Maybe I would hope not being that even these big brand companies are becoming non contract based, you know? Correct. No. So I hope But you can get your monthly at a lower price though. You know what I'm saying? Like because I pay almost three hundred dollars for my phone bill. Oh god damn. Yeah. I, I have two phones two and an iPad, but with the iPad okay. you have to pay for the line. Okay. You know what well, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was about to say, bitch, who are you with? Yeah, I'm with Sprint. Diamond Sprint. wireless. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. so no, you know. no, that definitely makes sense. It makes sense. Um, but I, I'm with it. I support it. You know, correct. I, if I wasn't seeing my phone, I would get it. But yeah, I, I, I'm. That shit is major. Like correct. That's dope. I, I, yeah. TV is definitely making sure that his, because you know he retired. Yeah. So. He's definitely Which I don't understand why. Like, why would he retire? I think it's because he's getting older. You know, and everybody can't be a Jay Z. Everybody can't be 45, 50, still dropping albums that make people want to buy it. Especially because look at what Jay Z was talking about on 444. If Jay Z started talking about that shit, do you think he would get that sense? Because people were still talking shit about Jay Z coming out saying some of the shit that he was saying. Jeezy might yeah, not get that same respect. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I feel like he feels po possibly like he's talked about drugs and shit for so long. 
I feel like he probably feels like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's time off for that shit. You know what I'm saying? And this type of shit, like, going into this type of market, being, I, I don't know any other black person that's come out with their own cell phone as far as, like, entertainment-wise, a rapper. The, you know what I'm saying? So he's, like, the leader of this shit. So I, shit, why not, you know? Make that money a, a whole nother way. He's still gonna get his residuals from off of his old shit. Everybody is still playing his old music. But Jeezy is... He still makes good music. It's different if he, he does, does make good music. So, he does. you were talking about the shit that Jay Z did. It's the same. Honestly, it's the same thing. Like he gonna, he's gonna get backlash regardless. Maybe he doesn't. So, some I mean, not, some people not able to handle it. You know. I mean, we can tell these new bitches. Um. Well. So. All right. I don't. I think she's. We're timed out. Yeah, that was weird. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, I can see myself now. I mean, I can, but it's like it says that I paused because somebody decided to call me. Oh, wait. Okay, now I can see myself. Okay, sorry. That's so weird. Sorry. Okay, guys. there you go. Um. Yeah, because I was like, it is paused a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but listen, I love Jeezy. I definitely love Jeezy. I think we all do. This is the beginning, and he's... I He's grown, you can tell, even from how he dresses, you know? Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he he fucking survived. Like, what 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 rap dudes you know, hood dudes you know, had a teeth fall out on stage, people recorded, and he Wait, still the same respect. It happened Wait. a couple years ago. Yeah, girl, I think he had, like, I don't know if it was veneers or, or dentures or whatever, but some of his teeth fell out while he was performing. He was doing that, ha ha, and that shit fell out. <laughs> that shit this that story disappeared so fast like nobody like people reported about it but nobody still talks about it for real to this day so um is he still with jenny mine we don't i guess jenny mine is serial dating i guess so i mean shit, she's single she's yeah. probably like that brown penis so you know but i heard that jenny got a small little pain anyway it's not the point Aww. so let's look at these questions Oh, is Floyd Mayweather daughter really pregnant? We don't know. That's we... what they say. They said it's alleged, guys. We're not confirming it. We're, it's alleged right now. You know, some people don't confirm it until like about eight months. Keisha Cole. <laughs> but, you know. Keisha Cole. <laughs> um, all right, what else? Um, did Diddy and her, um, did Diddy get engaged to Lori Harvey? Is it a rumor? It is a rumor. I feel like that's not true. I don't. But I, she's I don't confirmed it wasn't true. true. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, she said she's not engaged. So, um, okay. So let's do that one. Um, and then, do you guys think that Nikki will reach out and collab with another new rapper after the whole Cardi debacle? I really want her to work with Meg. We all want her to work with Meg. I feel like she probably will. Like, she, probably will. She, she She worked with Trina, which that was a long time coming. Um, but I feel like she will. People that are not coming for her mm -hmm. and on any type of aspect, I feel like she will. I feel like And she also will. Meg, like she's going to pass the torch. Um, because what I have to tell people, like Nikki is gonna do whatever the fuck she wanna do. If she wanna put out an album, she's gonna do it. If she wanna put out a single, she's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And if she wants to go away for a year and a half, have a baby and come back with a brand new sound, she's gonna do it. So but she's still gonna be at the top tier of the rap and of the yeah. female rap, period. Um what I need for her to while she's away, hold on, but while she's away, she's gonna have to give that to somebody, and I think that's gonna be Meg. Because nobody else is. Meg has Nikki's approval. That's it for her. That's all she needs. Is she's gonna skyrocket. So and I feel like Ti could have been doing a lot more for Tokyo Jets. We say it all the time. Totally I agree. like Tokyo Jets. Like she, me too. Because she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She is. Right? She is. If she people are like, oh, how did how did Ti let her get pregnant? <sighs> The same way she got put his dick in other bitches. That's how. What the fuck? I'm just like, glad it wasn't her. But, you know, I I feel like there are some other people that could be worth it, right? Because I like Tokyo Jets. I like 
like i like oh, damn i can't even see no more comments oh well but i like i i, I like female rappers that talk that shit you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't really like that bubblegum, over the top, too girly. <laughs> I don't like that shit. Yeah. Um, I feel like there are a few people, but Mal if it's not Meg, it's gotta be Malibu Mitch. Yo, Malibu Mitch. I like Malibu Mitch, too. I also, I know that it's like dated, but I still like Cash Doll. But I feel like Cash yes. Doll is trying too hard now. I feel like she's it's like you're the wrong people. Like 35, ain't she 35 or something? Listen. I'm just asking you, you, you would go better than me. <laughs> so we did go to the same high school. She was under me for, okay. like, I graduated in 05. She was okay. under me as far as years. However, um, some people from my high school, like on Facebook, was like talking shit. Shut the fuck up. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> they were like, oh, don't make me pull out my um, yearbook. Yearbook. So, I mean, you know. I think, honestly, she's probably only like a year or two younger than me. So then she maybe is because of what, you're 32? Not yet, bitch. Should I not sober? Don't push me. Oh, so she might. So she might be twenty nine. I was. I graduated. You graduated no five. I graduated no seven. Uh -huh. I'm thirty. I just turned thirty. Uh huh. So you're turning thirty two this year. Uh huh. And I turned thirty two. So she might be thirty. Right. We don't know when her birthday is. She never celebrates her birthday, does she? I thought it was them. I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay. Well, then she, she, maybe she's she, she, she's somewhere around there. And people were like, she's still saying like she's like 26, 25 or some shit. Because she's trying to be younger for, you know, the crowd. But it's like, yeah. They see it in your face, girl. And I think that she, yeah. knows she just needs like the right people backing her. Yes. Right? Because she's and dope. I feel like, me, I'm not me. Uh, Deb and me make the wrong decision choosing Johnny over her. Yep. Um. So yep. that that was wrong because I I do you um I like that song with her and Dreezy that Chanel slides. Yeah. That shit is dope. Like she can definitely be bringing in, but she doesn't have the right people around her to get her where she she should be by now. It's been it's been a nice minute. You know what I'm saying? Like other people came out last year as far as like oh radios are playing their shit like a lot of radio play isn't she's not getting so mm -hmm. it's it's unfortunate but she still has a, she still has a strong fan base like that's the good thing she still has a strong fan base a lot of people hear her music from you know what i'm saying the online scene youtube and underground type stuff but i feel like she just needs the right people, people behind her and making the right deals like i i think they said that one label she signed to they wasn't they shelved her music for years it was they weren't allowed and i feel to like when she said that she hadn't um like gotten any kind of like racism or colorists but she finally got she finally got like what that felt like because the guy wouldn't clear a sample because he didn't want a dark-skinned girl on his song or some shit like that but because she, when people were talking about like colors and things like that in the industry, she was like, I never experienced that. This is that. And we had to tell her, like, bitch, it happens. Yeah. All the time. It happens. All the time. And we, we just have to be honest, though, right? Because when you were growing up in San Diego, you didn't experience certain things until, you know what I'm saying, a certain age. Like you said, that you didn't realize certain things. And maybe, maybe that's true for her. Maybe she had yeah. personally experienced it but you can't be that naive to think that shit is she happening is. because you see it happening to other people but because i see it don't mean that i have to be like oh it's gonna happen to me right you know what i'm saying or maybe she maybe she doesn't see it. maybe she just hears about it you know what i'm saying yeah yeah but wait do you guys like sweaty i don't i'm not her name is sweaty she's a beautiful girl right didn't you lose the car sweaty her name is sweaty <laughs> i really don't listen to her that often me either. Honestly, um, like um, Pandora I, might be playing and it comes on. If it's something I can, you know, buy to, then <laughs> it gets the skip all the time for me. I think that she's gorgeous. Like she is, she is gorgeous. Yes. Um, but as far as like stage presence, um, other than that, like just no, no, it's just a no, no thanks. 
Um, but I call her by any means necessary, sweetie, because um, she was fucking. She was a beard for Justin Combs. She was a beard for wait, wait, wait. What's his name with the um Ryan Destiny's boyfriend? What's his name? Keith Powers. She was a beard for him. Wait, so Ryan is beard? Yeah. What? Yeah, you didn't. No. Yeah. What's yeah. well, that? No. Well, somebody sent me something about Keith, and I posted it, and then people started like to attack my page. And he was on like a radio interview, and was like, "Yeah, there was this one blog that tried to, you know, tarnish my name." And it's just like, one well, blog is not even all that big. Like, what are you talking about? But the, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that you like girls. That's me. So. Yeah. Um. What else? Well, she, so it was Justin Combs, uh, Keith Powers, and she fucked with one more person. I said it on the shade room. Uh-huh. But um, hold on. What she say? Uh, the song with the white trucker Tory Lanez traded her for yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just we getting more questions. Um. Do you think that Nikki's wedding is going to be big? Oh, fuck yes. Will she invite some barbs? Probably not, because y'all be tripping. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, and she's with oh, Quavo. So Qua- I still she feel like Quavo yes. like boys. That's what I think. Uh. There's several reasons. It, uh, it's a whole, you know, biography type thing that I have to put together. But look, okay. um, Mm. Take off is my baby, period. Bye. Um, <laughs> what else? How do y'all feel about Asian doll? Slash the brat. At all. Well, she, I'm, I'm thinking of the brat, like, the brat, tap, 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 make your next step. But, no, but, no. That, but Yeah, I'm going to say, wait the fuck, man. I don't listen to it, so I, I really don't feel either way. She said that she was like beard. I mean, she was a beard. She said that she was like I said beard because I read the word. Um, she said she was um like she was gone and she came back. I said, well, bitch, where'd you go? Like we all whispered that you were you. So all of a sudden you're back. I don't understand. I just don't like the fact that her name was like Asian doll and you not a lick of Asian. Like that's like an Asian being called black doll. Like that's we would drag that motherfucker. My whole thing is like, why can't people just be original, right? Like, why do you need to be the same version of a name that somebody else that's been out before you has already established? Like Lil Nas X. That shit crazy. Uh, the uh, you know all of the dolls like that nigga's a trash can. No sense to me. That nigga, like, that nigga Nas Then you got trash can. Yes. Like, I like the baby and Lil Baby. I do, but it's like Yeah, man, but it's not original. Like, the names aren't original. They was like, fuck it. I'ma just add D A to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? You're so stupid. You don't add DA to it. Y'all gonna catch, you know, Danny's like slide shape. Like we were on the podcast and I was asking something about like she had a we asked something about somebody having a part time job and she was like, Yeah, I think she worked from like twelve to two. I said, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Danny is out of control, y'all. She be out of fucking control. Um, what else? Um, do you think that Nikki should have a iron an ironclad prenup? I don't know what an ironclad prenup is, but I do know what a prenup is. <laughs> she's not stupid, so I'm pretty sure she's going to give this nigga a prenup. I really feel like she's putting him in the, in the position to make money for himself. Okay. Um, because he kind of looked good in that new fucking video. Shout out to Megatron, bitch. Um, that video is popping. He look good. His back look good. Felon Bay is, is it. So, yeah, he's, he's attractive. Uh, and he makes her, like, she makes him look attractive. Just like, I'm not going to even say that. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Um, do you, I need you to post a DM. You wait. I need you to DM, DM them post about Quavo being on a down low and how he messed with Lewis. Oh, do you know about that? Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't know about none of that either. Yeah. Uh, I don't know nothing about that, bro. So <laughs> I don't know nothing about. I don't. Is that so much to teach on a down low? I have a story.
stories of I have there's so much fun. there's hold on. So what about Matthew Knowles statement about Kelly underachieving in the US because of her complexion? Look. Wow. I would never say that the reason why Kelly didn't make it is because she's dark skinned. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna believe that. I feel like Kelly has a beautiful voice. I feel like if Kelly worked as hard as a Beyonce, there's no way you can deny her. Fact. Period. Facts. Facts. Kelly can dance. She can fucking sing. She is beautiful. She and is, she works her as voice, Her voice is different, right? Her Yo. voice is not specifically what Beyonce's is. Neither one of their voices are what Michelle's is. But <laughs> she could have yes. worked a little bit more. Maybe she feels like she doesn't need to. You know what well, I mean? Why would you like, feel that? Beyonce don't go. Beyonce goes more. She when she is getting ready for a show. She, y'all see her with her dancers and her band. Where do you see her with her kids? Uh, her kids and her husband come to her because she can't leave because she's a perfectionist. Maybe she feels like how Adrian Baylon feels. They don't. Some people don't 